Hey everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this session, we will be discussing about a great opportunity and very unique opportunity also, especially for all life science, pharma and biotech students who want to pursue their master's and PhD in India. And if they are in need of financial support, then this program is specially designed and aimed to support those sections of students. So let's see what is this fellowship program, how you can apply and what are the benefits and the areas which it covers. So if you are a researcher, scientist or student, especially from biotech, life sciences and pharma background. If you know some students who are in need of financial support, you can share this video among them also. So as I mentioned, Bayo Fellowship Program Medha especially aim to provide financial support to economical weaker section of the society. So let's see what are the domain and the research areas for which they can support you in your PhD program. So the major areas which they cover are genomics, proteomics, bioprocessing, industrial biotech, bioinformatics, environmental biotechnology, drug discovery and biopharmaceuticals, food biotechnology and agriculture biotechnology. They also support stem cell research, infectious disease biology, molecular diagnostic and antimicrobial resistance and pharmacology. So these are some of the major areas where they support via this fellowship. So let's see what is the eligibility criteria for the fellowship. As I mentioned, one is that the candidate should belong to the economically weaker section. So the aggregated annual family income should be around a lakh or lesser than that. So under this scheme, you can apply for master's also and PhD also. So for master application, the candidate must have graduate degree, the bachelor degree in the life science, biotech and pharma with minimum 55% of aggregate. For PhD fellowship application, you should have your master completion. You should also have minimum 60% of marks in your master's curriculum. Let's see what is the age limit. So for the master fellowship application, the age limit is 25 or below 25 years as on the date of 31st December 2022. And for PhD application, he or she must be 30 or below 30 years. And the candidate should not be availing any other fellowship at the time of application. The candidate must be enrolled for full-time PhD or master program at any institute, university or research lab which is recognized from AICTE, UGC or CSII. So let's see what is the duration of this fellowship. So via this uh, Bayer's Fellowship Medha program, the duration of master support is for two years and for PhD, it is up to three years. During your master program, they support you with rupees 20,000 per month. While for your PhD, they support you with rupees 40,000 per month and they are not giving any contingency in this PhD fellowship. Let's see how many fellowship they support. So around 125 fellowship they provide under this scheme. And out of 125, the 100 fellowship is for masters and 25 is for PhD candidate. So once you start availing this fellowship either for masters and PhD, during your masters and PhD curriculum, your, your progress and performance will be evaluated by your mentor, supervisor and also with the external doctoral research committee. So every six months you have to submit one progress report on the online portal with the supervision of your supervisor and HOD. Along with this progress report, if you are getting any patent publication, that update also you have to provide on the online portal. Suppose on volunteer level, if you want to discontinue this fellowship at any stages of your master's and PhD, or maybe your fellowship get terminated due to misconduct or some documentation and reasons, then you have to return the fellowship back to the funding agency. So let's see what is the application procedure. So before 13 January 2023 on online portal, you have to apply to this fellowship program. The application is there. So you have to go to the online portal. You can use this link. I will be putting the link details here. So just go to this uh, link before 13 January and fill your form. Let's see what are the document requirement along with this application form. You have to provide a scanned PDF copy of your mark sheet from school and graduation for master's candidate and for PhD program you also have to provide master degree. You also need to provide income certificate issued by government authority. You need to provide a bona fide certificate from the institute also and along with these documentation you have to upload the photo and signature. 
for master student a letter of motivation and for phd student a project summary a kind of synopsis you have to provide so let's see some of the critical date for this fellowship the application is currently open the application is going to close by 13 january 2023 the initial screening and shortlisting will be done by the mid of january 2023 interview is going to happen in the initial month of february and results will be announced in first week of fab the document and bank verification is going to happen in mid fab and the fellowship will be awarded before 31st march if you have any query, you can email to this ID. I hope you have liked the session and you are going to apply for this fellowship timely. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor, especially among those students who are under need of financial support. Thank you so much.